hello assalamu alaikum i am engineer sefula and you are watching seven engineer side so guys i am on a construction side and today we will discuss about honeycombing and concrete if you are a new user so please subscribe our youtube channel and we'll press bell icon for a notification of new videos so let's start so guys concrete honeycombing definition and their causes we will discuss so let's start you can see the honeycombs in the in this column clearly so the term honeycombing was used in concrete construction to describe the coarse and rocky appearance on the outer foundation because of its close resemblance to honeycomb nest built by honeybees so you can see here the honeycombs in this column guys clearly now there are many common causes of honeycombing in concrete so we will discuss some of them some of them here so imbalances in the fine material added so here we will discuss some of causes of honeycombing so the origin of concrete honeycombing and what causes it potential effects on your home is result of honeycombing common repair and treatment for concrete honeycombing so let's start first of all we will discuss the causes imbalance in the fine material added allowing larger aggregate rock to consolidate for cement to water ratio which can reduce the concrete's workability the third one is inefficient mean inefficient inefficient means of vibration directly after the concrete is formed improper reinforcement reinforcing bar placement at vertical and horizontal grade beam transition leading to four concrete fill adhesion or leakage of concrete at four leaf braced from boards low quality are damaged from boards which prevent from contact with the concrete as concrete honeycombing a concern as concrete honeycombing a concern Honeycombing is mostly a cosmetic condition and I have yet to encounter a foundation that was showing any signs of adverse performance. The only time I have seen concrete honeycombing be a concern, depending on the specific location of the honeycombing, is when the honeycomb was deep enough to expose the steel reinforcement rebar or force tension cable ends. When the steel is exposed on the frame perimeter of the concrete due to deep concrete honeycombing corrosion will weaken the steel over time causing additional spelling and durability loss to the structure so how we can repair the honeycombs in a construction site so concrete honeycomb repair tips there are two primary ways to repair concrete honeycombing which will help to cosmetically improve the outer surface of our home's foundation in my own home, I choose to apply a, an acid stand. I had some mild honeycombing on the front of my exposed foundation and I wanted to blend my exposed foundation well with the landscaping. I set aside a day and use three one gallon cans of stand with a two gallon sprayer that I picked up from Amazon. Another option is to treat the concrete honeycombing by way of high strength non shearing grout. Honeycombing is deep or at the foundation reinforcements are exposed. This is the best option. You will want to follow the specific direction provided by the manufacturer. But the basic steps include isolate the affected area by removing chipping or flaky layers of honeycombing until the suitable concrete is exposed. Truly clean the area to be repaired and remove all dirt and any loose aggregate. Wet the clean area before applying the high strength non shearing grout. Texture color should then be matched for an aesthetic finish. Stop. So we have finished our lecture on honeycombing, their causes and tips for repairing of honeycombing hair. If you have liked the lecture and you get your knowledge from this lecture, so please like our lecture and give your opinion in comment box if, and if you have any problem in seven engineering so please comment your problems we will try to solve your problem with the best way and subscribe our channel and with the bell icon thank you goodbye